The coding durability test puts excess through a cycle of 10,000 strums. Through the lens of a microscope, it is clear that excess retains its composition better than other coded strings. Testing complete. What should we start with here is your signature, right? This is my signature guitar, yeah, that uh, we just brought out uh, with, uh, so this is my second signature model. And uh, the nice folks at Sur Guitars have done a wonderful job on it. So I've been working on this uh, for a couple of years with them. So it's just uh, kind of the, uh, the natural sort of place to go. I've got a previous uh, signature model that's a two humbucker model. Mm. That's basically like everything about that guitar, uh, wood-wise and everything, is kind of like our favorite guitar from Kalamazoo mm. uh, style guitar, but in a 25.5 yeah. scale. So with this one, I thought, let's go with a, a little bit more of our favorite guitar from Fullerton Vibes, but <laughs> all the imperfections all, you know, yeah. worked out and all that stuff. So, yeah, yeah so um, so this one is a little bit more of that true S style guitar with like, uh, it, it, it's still got a humbucker in the bridge here but I went with a single coil on the neck this time, the hum single single setup. And it's a little more of the typical woods uh, compared to my previous signature model for an S style guitar. So in other words, alder body, you know, maple neck, that kind of stuff. Yep. Whereas the other one's mahogany and stuff. So cool. yeah. And yeah. It, are these John's pickups? John's like uh, sewer pickups? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, a V60, uh, sorry, V63 in, in the, uh, the neck. I used to use a pickup from him, another great model called the V60LP, okay. but I've been using these V63s and they're just killer. So the two singles are V63s. Um, and then this is a brand new pickup called the Thornbucker 2 that we developed. Oh. Yeah, so a, a little while back, we did this crazy thing where we put together, I think it was like 24 different pickups and tried to kind of like go for the Eddie Van Halen early days uh, you know the, the the whatever formula he was using, and we went on this whole tone journey of trying to you know try all these different pickups yeah. to see what got us you know and and of course when you what got us closest to to that thing and of course when you do that you learn a lot in the process outside of you know the Van Halen sound yeah. or anything like that and what I learned was I'm starting to really like especially kind of like with gain like you were just hearing me play mm -hmm. I'm starting to really like Alnico two magnets so this pickup is is my first Alnico two uh, model. Uh, and it's also the first, I do believe, Alnico 2 model that Sir has done. What do you find pleasing to your ear and through that so, journey that gets you to that happy place? It's just when I go up here, it's a little bit more of a singing thing and a little rounder on the top end. And it's got a spongy kind of slightly softer thing on the bottom end than, uh, say, if you go Alnico 5, it's a little sharper, a little more treble attack and okay. stuff. And I used to really, you know, I, I still like pickups like that sometimes. And there's so many other things that go into pickup uh, right. design besides magnets. Yeah. But I did here across the board, kind of when you go from a five to a four to a two, you know, you're getting progressively, this is a, a blanket statement once again, but you're getting to me a little bit rounder and a little bit sweeter in the top end with each, okay. you know, as you go towards the Allen Co. two. Yeah. So I just really liked it. And, um, and uh, but, but uh, we also did a slightly hotter wind than my previous signature pickups. So we went up to 9K. So it's okay. still on the, it's on the hot end of a PAF, but it's not a hot pickup really. Yeah, think, you know, and you were yeah. a big PAF fan. Like, yeah. you, like Pete, if you don't know, is a long time contributor, was a long time contributor for the tone tip section of the magazine. I don't know, you did like a uh, decoding the PAF article that's still one of our most popular. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, you ce you celebrated the PAF flag and I know now it's all in vogue, but yeah, you've been there for a long time. Yeah, I love them, man. I mean, because, you know, I think the, the thing about the PAF, the original thing was they weren't really going for like a hot, loud pickup. They they were kind of happy with P90s, I think, or whatever was in their guitars at the time. Yeah. They just wanted hum, hum canceling. Yeah. So, you know, they're not really that much. Like when you hear PAFs, the best ones to me from back in the day, it's and it seems like what, you know, folks that are really like aficionados of that tone go for is an almost sort of single coil like vibe. Uh, maybe with a bit more heat, but like, you know, in the middle position, the whole Jimmy Page thing, like yeah. some twang and like a big overgrown telly. Yeah. So I love that sound.